So, this is our stretching video. Stretching allows the body to cool down after a workout and lets the heart return back to its resting heart rate. Throughout a workout, your body builds up lactic acid and stretching breaks us down. This allows the muscles to repair and recover. Firstly, you're going to start by sitting on the floor with your left leg out in front of you and your right leg bent in. Making sure you keep your legs straight, you're going to reach as far as you can to your foot. Don't worry if you can't reach it, just try your best. You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. Swapping sides, make sure your legs are still straight. Reach for your toe as far as you can. Don't worry if you can't, just make sure you keep that leg straight. The next stretch, you're going to put both your legs out in front of you, making sure you keep them straight. Don't worry if you can't reach your toes, it doesn't matter. Just stretch as far as you can forwards. You're going to hold the stretch for another 30 seconds. The next stretch, you're going to bring one knee in and keep one leg straight. You're going to twist around and push on that knee to bring more of a stretch to your back. You're going to hold this for 30 seconds. If you can't feel a stretch, keep pushing on that knee and keep pushing round so your back is rotated even more. Now swap sides. You're going to hold this for another 30 seconds. Remember, if you can't feel a stretch, keep pushing on that knee so your back is more rotated. The next stretch, you're going to bring both knees in so that your feet are together. It doesn't matter if you can't bring them in that far, just make sure they're in as much as possible. You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. If you can't feel much of a stretch, try pushing down on your knees. The next pose is called child's pose. You're going to kneel down and reach your arms out forwards. If you can't feel a stretch, try and push your arms forward as far as you can. You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. Slowly get up to your feet and shake out whatever you need. The next stretch, you're going to stretch over to your right, one hand on your hip and one hand going over your head. This really stretches out your side. You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. If you want a challenge, remove the hand on your waist and just place it in front of you so you have nothing supporting you and you're having more of a stretch and a pull. Swap sides. Remember, if you want more of a challenge, remove that hand on your hip and just place it in front of you. Your next stretch, you're going to bring your arm in front and one arm over it and pull on the arm. You're going to hold the stretch for 30 seconds. If you want more of a stretch, keep pulling on that arm. Swap arms. If you can't feel a stretch, Pull the supporting arm further towards the wrist and pull even more. The next stretch, you're going to bring that arm behind your head and use the other arm to pull. 
You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. If you want a challenge, the arm that's push, pulling that arm down, grab with the other hand. Swap them arms over, making sure you shake in between. Making sure you really pull on that arm so you can feel a stretch. The next stretch, you're going to push both hands out in front of you, making sure your head is also down. Keep pushing them arms forward and you'll really feel the stretch. You're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. You're going to do the same stretch, but by placing the arms behind you this time. Making sure you really pull them arms out so you can really feel that stretch. The next stretch is you're going to place your hand on your head and slightly pull your neck down making sure you don't pull your neck down too much but just using that hand for a bit of weight you're going to hold this stretch for 30 seconds now swap to the other side making sure you're not pulling down too much on that head otherwise you'll hurt your neck Now shake off everything and that is your stretch.